Okay guys, welcome back to Quick and Dirty. Today I've got another ad to decode with you on the channel. This one's kind of cool because it was in an environment where we see a lot of stuff, but it's hard to bid for traditional advertisers, but it's still worth looking at. So let's unpack that right after this. Okay, so this ad that I'm gonna show you was on what we call out of home display inventory. And I'm gonna show you what that means and why it's a kind of a special piece, but is really worth looking at. And frankly, I think this one's kind of interesting and there's some stuff to talk about here. So let's take a look. All right, so let's just start. Well, first, let's take a moment, take a look at it. Holy schnitzel. That's right, I said it. <laughs> okay, so this ad to me, okay, first off, let me tell you where it is. So if you look down at the very bottom here, you'll see these are airport signs, right? See Pete's Coffee down there? So this was a huge television display in the airport in Phoenix. And you come down the escalator, and as you're coming down the escalator, this gigantic TV thing is on the wall. So like you're just kind of waiting on the escalator. So you're just staring at this thing. So the, the TV is a great spot in the airport. It gets a ton of impressions, you know, tens of thousands, if not more people per day are going to go down this escalator. This is considered out of home display inventory. This is something that we bid here and we can run ads uh, like targeting them, you know, within the airport environment or an entire city and looking at out of home um, display inventory. So it's a really kind of a cool place to be advertising. Now this one is really interesting because if you got onto this, you can read here, this ad is for a place in Seattle, uh, Washington, or near outside of Washington or whatever, two hours east of Seattle. So this is like some place to go, like a touristy place or something. So apparently they feel like advertising in Phoenix on the escalator, you know, the out of home display network is getting the word out and the awareness about this looks like kind of um, Swiss Alps themed yodeling fun park restaurant place where you can get a beer and do the kind of Bavarian German, I don't know, Alpsy thing, I guess. So it's, holy schnitzel, what else can I say? I've actually been to Belgium. I love it there. It's super, super fun. I'm not sure if that's the vibe, but I think it's like a German Belgium thing. Certainly looks like it, but I like the ad. And here's why I like the ad. I love this dude in the picture right there. Whoop! there we go. Have a little trouble with my, there we go. So love that guy's face, it's like super engaging. Like you're just immediately gonna look at this guy. And you notice they pushed him over to the left. We read left to right. So you just see this guy's picture. He seems super stoked. He's holding the huge beer. So this is a great example of where you got a big display. This TV is like a hundred inches, probably 10 feet, 12 feet big, really big display. Got a great image of this excited guy. He's got this huge beer, a lot of perspective in there. Like, um, I mean, for those of us that are into photography, there's like a little bit of like this nice perspective line, right? Of the, the face of these houses kind of fading in the background, nice framing of the image. He's really in the foreground, the beer's like coming straight out at us, right? So the picture, the lesson in this ad to me is that is a great example of where the image of an ad can do almost all the heavy lifting for you if you've got the right image and if you you know get it get it all set up correctly. So this is a, a great example of that. And then the holy schnitzel is just a fun play on words, but it scores high with me because it's clearly memorable. And where I normally don't like cutesy advertising and I think it's a little dangerous, this seems to work and it's just kind of fun. It's just kind of fun. I mean, there's no doubt about it. And they got the little details there on the bottom. You know, it's only two hours each to Seattle. So I like the only kind of minimizing that two hour drive. It's like not a big deal. And of course, this looks like paid for by Levingworth, uh, Washington, maybe Levingworth.org. So that's probably like a community or chamber of commerce type organization that's doing some um, outbound advertising to bring people into the community, uh, tourist, tourist dollars, obviously. So, uh, this one, I, I like it and it's, it's a heads up for you guys that there's this whole amount of inventory out there that, you know, you see ads on, but guess what? In today's universe for even small, medium spies businesses, we actually can bid and access this type of inventory and get, great ads running in places that you know you don't think about like if you're just buying ads on google 
you know, maybe doing some display or YouTube or something like that's just a very small component of the big picture of digital advertising. There's all sorts of cool stuff going on like this in airports and terminals and, you know, amazing amounts of different things, billboards, you know, these digital roadside signs, everything else. So yeah, take a look at that. But again, focus on your, the tail of the tape here is great photography gate, great composite, composed image. It, you know, maybe this was made in Photoshop, whatever. It doesn't matter because it's working. And then if you're going to do cutesy, like little slogans and advertising and stuff, make sure that it you crush it with that and it doesn't just get eh, okay? So we'll see you on the next one. If you guys think I'm wrong or whatever, hit, bash me down in the comments. Send me some ads to look at. I'm happy to do that. If you guys have some ideas or questions about stuff that you're working on, love to help you. If not, like and subscribe so you don't miss us on the next one.